Kelbrook stops Amir Khan in the sixth round to put an end to that bitter rivalry. Those of you who watched my pre-fight video on this fight, you will know that I picked Brook to win in rounds five, six, or seven. So we got it pretty much spot on. Very happy about that. However, I'll, those of you who watched the video also remember that I didn't pick Brook with much confidence. I felt like there was it was clear how both men could win the fight. That wasn't really reflected in this fight too much because for the most part, it was all Kel Brook. He hurt Amir Khan as early as the first round. And other than the second round, it was all Brook pretty much just beating Khan up. In the second round, I felt like Khan was able to get a bit more space uh, from Brook. And Brook was a little bit um, tense. Both men looked nervous coming to the ring, but I noticed particularly that Kel Brook was more on edge. And I feel like it was reflected slightly in his performance in the early rounds. He was a little bit rigid. And... Yeah, Amir Khan really wasn't in this fight at all from what I saw. He managed to clip Kelbrook here and there, but it wasn't because he was setting anything up particularly well. It was just the defensive limitations of Kelbrook. I spoke about how he kind of sits in the back half of his stance with his right glove up, but his left side completely exposed, and he did that. And he kind of paid the price here a couple of times against Amir Khan. However, Khan just didn't have the strength, the physicality, or the power. The speed was kind of there, but Kelbrook does have good reflexes, so it wasn't catching him off guard. Whereas Brook, for the most part, I spoke about how he had those dangerous long-range shots, the jab, the left cross, it's more of a left cross, it's very powerful, the right cross. And so every time Amir Khan would look to advance, or even when Brook was closing Khan down, he was able to hurt him from long range and then he'd just chase him down like a rabid dog. He'd pin him up against the ropes, hit him to the body, hit him to the head. And as I say, it was just like Kelbrook beating Amir Khan up. Amir Khan, I don't think he ever had any moments of significance. He managed to land some cuffing shots on Brook, but nothing that looked as if the tide of the fight was going to turn. So this was very much Kelbrook. And it's... It was a good performance. It was a good win. Kelbrook's obviously won. He's come out the better man this rivalry, but I don't think it was a vintage Kelbrook performance. And of course, both men are 35 years old. They both have a lot of miles on the clock, but it wasn't the most patient version of Kelbrook that I've seen. It wasn't the most thoughtful ver uh, version. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that he wasn't necessarily concerned about what was coming back his way. He kind of neglected with his fainting and his jabs and at times he was lunging in with shots and he would sometimes miss wildly but Khan was just just lacked physicality so much you see the size difference you see the strength difference it was quite an easy fight for Kelbrook dare I say um didn't look his best but I feel like for the most part he didn't have to answer too many questions or he wasn't presented with that many challenges so <clears throat> this fight kind of played out exactly how I thought it would. The only thing was I thought Amir Khan would get taken out cold because I really didn't have much faith in his chin like many people. But as I say, he's got to give himself a pat on the back because he took some good shots and it never really looked like he was going to give in. But the referee jumped in in the sixth round and, uh, and waved it off. And some people may have an issue with the stoppage. Personally... You know, there's not a title on the line. It's not, you know, there's there's not the biggest prize at stake. It was a non-title fight. It was really just bragging rights. Um, and maybe the referee had it in his head. He's seen Khan be knocked out cold before and just thought he'd spare Amir Khan that because it looked like it was only going one way. Um, but, you know, I can't complain at the stoppage. Amir Khan was this, he had nothing to keep Brook off. Even when he hit Brook, he, he couldn't buzz him, he couldn't sting him or anything. Even when he hit Brook clean, or relatively clean. So, uh, yeah, it was all kill Brook. And there were even some shenanigans. It was a very uh, strange build-up because there was one moment where, I believe, at the dressing room of Emir Khan, where the security stopped the Sky Team from going in. And it was... I don't know if Sky Team usually go into the... Uh, into the dressing rooms of the fighters. They have the cams, but I don't think they... I mean, sometimes they do get a pre-fight interview, but yeah, 
regardless, they weren't allowed in. And then Kelbrook has walked to the ring first in black fly gloves, black and gold fly gloves. And he's had to take them off at the last minute. And it's looking like, wow, is the fight really going to get cut at the last minute? Turns out he had to wear the exact same gloves as Amir Khan. So for Kelbrook to keep his cool, because apparently they've been pulling all the uh, tricks out the bag and there have been a lot of shenanigans, but Kelbrook kept his cool. And he did the business. And now it's really what's next. I think it's kind of 50-50 whether Kelbrook calls it a day or fights someone like Chris Eubank Jr. Personally, I'd like to see both Kelbrook and Amir Khan just call it a day. They've had their time. They've both been champions. The rivalry settled. I don't think there's really anything left to see. Personally, I wouldn't want to see Kelbrook face Chris Eubank Jr. I think that's a bit of a silly fight because Kelbrook is fighting at welterweight now. Chris Eubank Jr. is at middleweight. He's just beaten a decent middleweight in Liam Williams. Maybe it's time to go to the top dogs at middleweight or at least someone else. So I don't really want to see that fight. If it happens, I'd probably watch it, but it's not one that I particularly, uh, I'm excited to see. But um, yeah, I think we can put this to rest now. Khan was comprehensively beaten by the better man. And yeah, based on what I saw today, I think... It would have just been a more clinical stoppage as most people feel because a lot of people who are picking Brooke today were siding with Brooke over the past what 10 years I was I always felt fairly confident that Brooke would win and there was a lot of tension in this fight because both guys are past their best and it was like who has more left but um turned out it was Kel Brook and as I say he didn't really have to go through too much so yeah, that's my take on the fight. <clears throat> I don't think I'm missing anything out, but it's late. You can probably hear my voice. I've been doing a lot of shouting, getting very excited. Um, yeah, it was a pretty simple fight. So uh, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it. Give me your take. Would you make of my opinion on the fight? Do you agree, disagree? Leave it in the comment section below. If you could like, comment, share and subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks for listening and I'll catch you on the next video.